This podcast is brought to you by Renewal by Anderson of Central Pennsylvania, where your savings are in your control. Get 20% off your whole project with additional savings as well, like the $500 off each entry or patio door you get, or the up to $250 off you get each window when you buy 10 or more. That's at $0 down, zero payments, and no interest for 18 months. Drop by RenewalByAnderson.com for more information. The windows of an apartment building keep spontaneously breaking. Meanwhile, a shelter is so overcrowded, it's paying people to foster animals. A number of Pennsylvanian cities got low marks for quality of life. And this guy went to count sheep when he noticed they were missing. I'm a Claudia DeMiro, and you're listening to Today in PA. The Riverwalk Apartments were built in Philadelphia in 2021 by PMC Property Group, the biggest residential landlord in the city, reports the Philadelphia Inquirer. And for the past three years or so, residents are claiming that multiple windows have fallen off the building with little or no response from management. In fact, the Philadelphia Business Journal states 60 windows have fallen off three towers within that period. PMC, as a result, has filed two lawsuits, one in June, another in July, against the windows manufacturer, Wausau Window, whom they paid tens of millions of dollars for windows that quote-unquote spontaneously break, according to one of the suits. PMC also in a later statement did confirm that they are quote, collaborating with a glass vendor to remove and replace cracked windows, unquote, and quote, are proactively erecting protective ground level scaffolding. Shelters are noticing that the overcrowding they usually get over the summer is worse this year, reports 6ABC. So much so that ACCT Philly is actually paying people to foster animals. According to Executive Director Sarah Barnett, the shelter will pay people $100 for every adult cat or a cage of kittens they choose to look after for a month as part of what they're calling their Foster Frenzy program. $200 for dogs. And the shelter will give foster families a kit to help care for the animals. ACCT Philly is hoping to have 75 pets placed in foster homes by Monday. For more information, please click the link in the corresponding podcast article. A number of Pennsylvania cities didn't do all too hot on a report concerning those with the best quality of life, states PennLive. LaunchDotter assessed 500 of the country's biggest cities on 16 key metrics including economic stability, housing affordability, and safety. Reading ranked 482nd overall and Philadelphia ranked 445th, meaning they were on the worst end of the spectrum. Then Erie ranked 424th, Scranton 422nd, Allentown 418th, Bethlehem 301st, and Pittsburgh 291st. Flint, Michigan came at the very bottom for the overall worst quality of life in a city, while Redmond, Washington came in first. Bucks County resident Rob German went to count sheep last month when he realized they were missing, says phillyburbs.com. And as of the recording of this episode, most members of German's six flock of sheep are still out and about after somehow escaping their enclosure. People in the Chalfront area have been posting pictures of their sheep sightings on Facebook, helping German and others to track them, chase them, and more often than not, miss them. Only two have been nabbed so far, while the four others are still on the lam. Wrote German in a very bright side post, quote, Heck of a way to meet your neighbors, but I do have the sheep to thank for meeting some delightful and caring people. Happy Friday, you guys. To stay up to date over the weekend, visit penlive.com and please don't forget to rate this podcast and leave it a review as well. Thanks ahead of time, and as always, thanks for sticking with us. I'm a Claudia DeMiro, and I'll see you next week for more Today in PA. This podcast is brought to you by Renewal by Anderson of Central Pennsylvania, where your savings are in your control. Get 20% off your whole project with additional savings as well, like the $500 off each entry or patio door you get, or the up to $250 off you get each window when you buy 10 or more. That's at $0 down, zero payments, and no interest for 18 months. Drop by RenewalByAnderson.com for more information.